as a general rule of thumb, whenever a player sends me some homebrew that they would like permission to use, if I see it comes from the D&D wiki, I immediately tell them there is a 99% chance that whatever they're asking is going to be rejected. In 3.5, the wiki had a terrible reputation for unbalanced and broken material, and as far as I know, the general consensus hasn't really changed. Occasionally you'll find something that seems okay to use, but I honestly wouldn't be surprised if even then a GM would turn it down as just a precautionary tactic because it comes from the wiki. Instead, I like to use it as sort of an idea mine. When you don't know how to begin something, it helps to even see an unbalanced idea. For instance, this version of the Holy Staff of Korakos is probably never going to be allowed in the player's hands. But this version is far more tame, and I would be willing to work with it. A friend of mine wanted me to do a character conversion for Sasori of the Red Sand from Naruto. If I recall correctly, I think his exact words were Screw Konkuro, or probably there was more explicit language in there. Now creating a puppet master from Naruto isn't that difficult, they are clearly artificers using their steel defenders as their puppets. But I was actually pretty disappointed that you couldn't modify your steel defenders in any way. This brings us to the Battlesmith steel defender upgrades. Using these rules, your steel defender gains another a number of upgrades equal to your intelligence modifier, and you're able to swap them out each time you level in the Artificer class. These add some really interesting customization options to the steel defenders, though I'd maybe switch how swapping them out works. Maybe make it require a long rest or even a week of downtime, so long as you have some kind of workplace to do the, the to do the modifications in. Probably I'd lean towards the the week of downtime to encourage planning ahead. Upgrades of notable mention include flexible plates. You reinforce the steel defender's joints and exposed areas, raising its AC to a 16. Runic engravings gives your steel defender one cantrip that requires a ranged attack roll, and he gets to use your modifiers for that. And the clockwork brain and spark of intellect upgrades. These increase your steel defender's intelligence and give it the ability to use some of your infusions and even cast some spells on a short rest. There are 34 upgrades in total, a nice basis, and plenty of room to create more. For instance, I could see taking larger chassis and then uh, creating another one that allows you to use your Steel Defender as a sort of puppet armor to bring this all the way back around to the Naruto character that inspired it all. If I were to rate this homebrew, I would probably give it a strong 4. Uh, it's not necessarily something I think should have been in the base game already, but it, it's still pretty good, at least in my opinion, if I were to see this play tested, then I might change my opinion on that, but for now 4 seems right. Thank you for watching, please like the video, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. May all your 20s be natural, and you have a great day.